Today we're here at Dollywood for the opening day of their summer celebration. Are you guys ready? Ready. Let's do this. We're here at Dollywood's summer celebration and the kite sky has replaced the umbrella sky. Well, let's take a look at the guide here and see what they have to offer. So they have featured dining. Of course, they have all kinds of treats and goodies. They have a summer celebration tasting pass. It is $36.99 plus tax or gold pass holders and diamond can get it for $33.99. And they brought back one of my favorite shows, the Gazillion Bubble Show. Uh, they also have Sweet Summer Nights, which is the drone show. They have a little uh, tailgate party going on back in Wildwood Grove. They have the Hydro Jive. That's where they, they kind of sing and dance around this um, fire hydrant that shoots water up. And good vibes are back for the summer. They also give you a convenient little guide here that will tell you about all the shows and what times they are happening throughout the park. A map that will tell you pretty much where you can find everything. Your favorite coaster, maybe your favorite little eatery or your, your little shop. They have summer merchandise and crafts to be had. Uh, also tips and information. And that's their summer celebration. Of course, the next festival will be September the 20th through October the 30th. And that's one of my favorite. Yes, the Harvest Fest is going to be back this year. We are super stoked. You guys are all been sitting around saying, why don't you stop talking about the things to do and actually start doing them. So first thing we should do is go get a tasting pass so we can try out some of these summer treats. So we got two summer celebration tasting pass and it came out to $75.29. So it looks like they have a cannoli, maybe some special cupcakes there. A little blueberry muffin or something. Now, these are the wait times. It looks like Big Bear Mountain is not running at the moment. Blazing Fury is 25 minutes, 55 minutes for Fire Chaser, 60 minutes for Dragon Flyer. Yeah, so here's their festival shops and they have these scattered throughout and they got a, a lot of really cool summertime merchandise here. That's kind of interesting with the ice cream cones and now you're starting to see that summer, summertime flair in their t-shirts and mugs. And they even have some summery flower headbands for $20. They're handmade. And mom and her babies. <laughs> and definitely summer is here. Raised on sunshine and country music. This is just some of their summertime teas here. That's really cool. Let your dreams be your wings. And raised on sweet tea and sunshine. This one here is pretty cool. We got the kites, Hello Summer, some watermelon. Dollywood, Tennessee. Hello Summer. And everything is in bloom. Everything is looking beautiful. The bees are buzzing. And so is Dollywood. Nice place to cool off here in Festival Fair. So they have a hibachi chicken skillet. They also have the pork belly. Southern Cobb is back. Our first summer food dishes are here. A hibachi chicken skillet, and then we have the pork belly skillet over here. And uh, yeah, 
I think the pork has more to it. It's, it looks a little more full compared to the chicken. And uh, yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Now let's get a little close in. Ooh, that pork looks really good. Yeah. Oh wow, looks pretty good. What are you thinking? Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead, Denise. Grab, grab one. Try the pork first. So you like the pork, pork belly? Pork belly is 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 a big hit right now. Go ahead, Don. Get in there. You know they gave us just enough for everybody to try each piece of, of it, right? You know I like because it's kind of like braised on the outside. And it's kind of like candied, right? Yeah. It doesn't even like taste like pork belly. It tastes like candy, right? It's really good. Yeah, wow. It's like candy. It melts in your mouth. Really good. I enjoyed it. Try that. It's, it's teriyaki chicken. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. No, Dollywood does a great job with their um, with their uh, food festivals. It's not bad. I do like the garlic and the scallions in it. Yeah. And the little green onions. The teriyaki is like super sweet. You know what I mean? Which is good. I like it. Rice is done right. So when we sit over here, there's a little red cardinal that lives back here. And he's so pretty. And uh, he's here every single time. And he's flying around. So if you're here at Dollywood and you're sitting back, you know, in this area here, you know, behind the festival fair area here. Look for the little red cardinal. Let's head into Mountain Laurel and see what they have. I got a lot of interesting things you can buy here at Dollywood that you don't see in, in all theme parks. A little home decor. Like I said, very, very interesting. These frogs are always interesting. I like him. He's just just relaxing, a little little chillaxing. And the uh, the paddle wheel is fun also. And these are all new. They have a spicy black bean nacho. They got loaded chicken nachos. And well, ultimate pork rinds, which would be really good if you're on keto, right? So this here is the chicken nachos. Looking good, jalapeno. And then over here is the black bean. That's looking good also. Oh wow, that one's a that one there's a loader, huh? You gotta have the other one to cover the other one. Oh wow, it just all went down the front of you. That's good. Now the chicken looks good. It's got like these big, big chunks of chicken. And it smells really good too. It's, it smells like spicy, but it's not, I don't think it's that, think it's that spicy. Good stuff, isn't it? Yes. So we got the, that's the chicken. I know Dawn hasn't tried that chicken yet. Go ahead and try the chicken one. I don't even know. Like, There's one right there. It. Get that one there. It's got the chicken in it already and everything else. There you go. You have a vegetarian option. And you also have a keto option with the pork rinds. Pretty good. <laughs> So they have a roadside attraction here, the largest bean can, Granny Ogle's Pinto Beans. <laughs> yeah, it's 1,037 gallons of beans. A little roadside attraction. Over here at Iron Horse, they have an open-faced grilled cheese sandwich. Of course, they have the antipasta over here and a Southern Cobb. This here is the grilled cheese, and it's back here at Iron Horse Pizza. And we got two of them. We're gonna share. And, yeah, they look really, really good. Uh, it's kind of like a French bread pizza mm -hmm. with some cheese. Go ahead, Denise. Grab one. Grab one. Oh, it's stuck to the paper. Ah, it is. It's stuck to the paper. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you think? Um, it, it's good. So
So over here at Miss Lillian's Barbecue Corner, they have some, some treats over here. They have the three little pigs sandwich. They have a pork belly on a stick and the southern fried corn. And the sun is blacked out by the soot of Cinderella. You know, there's nothing like being sooted by Cinderella. I've seen that you've already had her presence earlier. Everybody, it's Ken. <laughs> and the ring hook is back this year. You gotta try to get that little ring on that hook. And Blazing Fury is quite popular today. Wow. A lot of folks waiting for it. 25 minute wait. It's not too bad. And here is the noodle takeover. It's quite crowded back here. It is a beautiful day today. Not too hot, and it's busy. There's a lot of folks here. Ken is holding on to everybody's stuff. I'm the pack mule. So they have some new rules than they did last year. You gotta take your shoes and socks off, and they won't allow loose items. They said I couldn't bring the camera in because uh, it's considered a loose item. So Dawn and her sister are gonna go in. I'm gonna stay out here and film them. There they are, hey Dawn, hey Denise. Oh wow, you're we're getting, we're getting bubbled. Yeah. Roadside attraction, oscillation. What's this? So they're like these great big mirrors. It's an unusual musical instrument that you can play without touching it as you walk towards the pieces and play different sounds and pitches, depending on your distance from it. Hmm, not sure. Well, that was the first time I ever seen that there. It does make music when you like walk around in that. Quite interesting. And now we're going to check out the Gazillion Bubble Show. About five or six years ago, we first witnessed the Gazillion Bubble Show and it was amazing. Then it took an absence from Dollywood. Then last year it came back and it's here again. So we're going to, you can't miss it, it's awesome. If you've never been, it's almost like you got the experience, right? Look at all the bubbles. Oh yeah, there's jellyfish.
got to do it, right? <laughs> Ken. After the cable has been pulled, the conductor Cinderella will acknowledge that the pull cord has been pulled. Cinderella is definitely a sooty one. will notify the engine crew and EMTs to prepare an emergency response. The train will... If you haven't tried any of that cinnamon bread, you need to go by there and get your loaf before you leave the park. Or you may want to grab your two loaves, because one loaf usually don't make it back out to the car. Keep waving goodbye to all these folks down here. So in 1942, the United States Army took over the White House. The Yukon Railroad in Skagway, Alaska used it to move the material supplies and personnel that was needed to build the Alcan Military Highway. It's the Thunderhead wooden roller coaster there on the right hand side. Kings, Tennessee Theme Park named Silver Dollar City, Tennessee. Ask Ninja number 70 affectionately became known as Cinderella. Continues her tradition of hard work. Those blue rails up there is Wild Eagle. Wild Eagle's going to take you up 210 feet in the air, drop you 135 feet into a 110 foot giant loop. It's going to flip you upside down above Darlington. Count of three real loud and proud. Let's tell that engineer to blow the whistle. One, two, three. What did you guys think about that? I've had a big round of applause for engineer. Right there under the wildwood tree, that'll be followed by our drone and fireworks show at 940, all up there in Wildwood Grove. So those are the we drones. Be going anywhere. He's our fireman today. His name is Caleb. Oh boy. No trip is complete until you ride Blazing Fury, and it's only five minute wait. Don't mind if we do. Fire in the hole! We're gonna head into Aunt Granny's, all you care to eat for dinner. So we're here at Aunt Granny's, it's family style. So you pick three dishes and they bring them out. So Aunt Granny's is $26.99, and you get to choose three main dishes for everybody to share and four side dishes for everyone to share. And then everybody gets one dessert at the very end. They brought out the mac and cheese for all of us. We got some carrots, fried chicken. Now this here is the pot roast, and that looks really good. Also the sausage, I was really kind of impressed with it. And there's the salad with a big old side of ranch. This is my spread. I got a little bit of salad, pot roast, fried chicken, carrots, mashed potatoes and gravy, sausage. Look good too, Don. Denise is, uh, looks like you're doing good over there. Sierra's already into it. <laughs> How do you want me to do the check today? Oh, uh, just one. Okay, good. Ooh, so that's my um, seasonal crumble. It's an apple and it smells really good. And then, what did you get? You guys got cheesecake. Denise got everybody. Now you got the banana pudding, right? Yeah. And then you got the cheesecake also. And there goes the drones.
so so the drone show was pretty much all new this year. A few yeah. a few elements from years past, but mostly all new. What did you think? I was impressed with them. I like the truck. I like the hearts. I like the, um, the butterfly. And that hand, it was kind of a little creepy, but I like the shells. So you got to ride Big Bear just before the drone show. What did you think about it? It was cool. It was cool, huh? First yeah. time, huh? And another beautiful night here at Dollywood and everybody is leaving the park. Such a great evening here in Dollywood and they do such a wonderful job with their sweet summer nights, their summer celebration. Big Bear Mountain and Wildwood Grove looks totally different at night. The great Dollywood spirits of the Wildwood Grove speak to me. <laughs> Are you playing? <laughs> you are. They said there was gonna be no fireworks tonight. And as we were leaving, they happened. Like like half people left the park already and missed out on the fireworks. Oh well. Anyways, the fireworks happened. They they're great as always. Is it that that actually capped this night off? That I, yeah. I feel I was I felt like I was missing something. There, there it is. I, so I don't know. It was good. You know, Dollywood put, added a whole bunch of new lighting back here in Wawa Grove. Looking good. You got to ride Big Big Bear Mountain for the first time. You got to see the drones for the first time. Of course, Denise did also. It was a great night, folks. But that's going to do it for tonight. If you guys like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't, please subscribe so we'll miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time, there's Denise. Bye, everyone. Sierra. It was a perfect night, wasn't it? And the fireworks capped it off, surprisingly, at the end. Time to go home and sleep well. I want to go home and take a shower with some soap and then sleep well. <laughs> that's, that's 10 hours in the park, baby. <laughs> that's a venture. That's a venture. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> Our the owner probably sorted off us four hours prior. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're out in Splash. <laughs> yeah, we're in Splash. We're in, um, in Egypt, right? Is it E for Egypt? Yeah, E for Egypt. <laughs> e for, um... <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Just say Egypt. All right. All right. <laughs>